Hi everyone, this is Nana again from the Alliance Lover. I am doing soft gaming today for a QV style analysis and today we'll be looking at Jenna Coleman. I know I just did a video on flamboyant gamines and I really want to drive in the difference between the soft gamine and the flamboyant gamine before I go into just regular gamine. So flamboyant gamines are more angular, they're more sharp, they have more edge to them, they look really good in more rock and roll, tomboyish styles. It really suits their collection of lines and angles that are contained and petite. Now on the other hand, the soft gamin is much, much more rounded, much more delicate, much more circular with soft flowing lightness to all of their their lines and their figures they look better in still contained and defined clothing but the general vibe is just a lot more airy and soft and more delicate I like to think of the flamboyant gamines as a little bit more mischievous, um, like, a, like a dark fairy or something like that. And then I like to think of soft gamines as more like Tinkerbell, you know, regardless of their coloring. It's just the kind of energy that their certain look has. So let's go into soft gamine, Jenna Coleman. So, as always, I like to start off with what doesn't work so you can appreciate what does work even more so that's what we're starting with here as you can see jenna is just completely hidden underneath this outfit that is just much more suited to someone with just more body and more angles and more structure she just did not have the structure needed to carry this very heavy outfit these shapes are so heavy on her so let's look into that first of all there's just no definition in this outfit there's no emphasis on their nice sharp or slightly rounded shoulders there's no waist emphasis at all there's no proper hemming um the hem of her coat just falls somewhere completely unflattering the pants are so loose and you have just this entire outfit of bulk and then you also have the fabrics to contend with you have a very very heavy match out of like dark combat boots very very rugged on her jeans i say on her because on someone else they, these same jeans would look very light and effortless and casual on her they look like they're dragging her down they look very heavy um this coat is just such a heavy fabric it, it's almost like a carpet on her um and then the cuffing just looks like it's <laughs> five sizes too big on her. Just, there's not even definition on her wrists. Um, she's very lost in this outfit. And to add on to that, her hair is just very flat against her face. Um, there's no lightness, there's no fluffiness, there's no height to brighten up and lighten up her, her face and her figure. So let's go into another one. So this is another example of something being way too heavy for a soft gamine. Soft gamines look best in color blocking, nice bright contrast. And here you have a very monochromatic leaning outfit, the shirt, though it does have a defined neckline. It's just totally lost because it blends into her coat, which is just not very tailored. Um, and doesn't have those nice small high contrast details to make it work for a soft mean. Um, the pants, the pants, I mean, they're not cuffed, they're not tailored. You don't see good ankle definition. Um, you don't see any waist definition. And it's all just very black. Her, her whole outfit is just very black. She gets lost in it. Um, maybe that's what she was going for. You can't really recognize her. So if you want to be invisible, soft means do this outfit. Okay. 
So this one is a little bit better. Um, I just want to bring it up because it could work if you just changed a few things. Um, but there's a lot of contrast in this outfit, good amount of color blocking, which is really nice. Um, it's just that this coat is too big. Soft means can do oversized coats, but when you do, they have to really, really go for something more rounded and slouchy. And this one just looks too long. It doesn't give that illusion of like relaxed, slouchy, oversized on purpose. It just looks like it's the wrong size. Um, the pants would look so much better if they were more high-waisted or if you could see the high-waistedness maybe it's just this picture but i really doubt there's like small details like buttons that go up the fly and um, that would really bring attention to the waist and then the shirt would nice would be much nicer if it was tucked in or a little higher to show off the waist um and remember with soft means especially because most of y'all are very petite in height um ankles gotta have that cuffing if you want to do a wide leg you have to support the entire look by being very intentional you have to wear the right cut the right shoes to lengthen the entire bottom half um wide boot legs with sneakers don't do anything for you and i know i'm short so i i speak from a lifetime of experience. Okay. Unfortunately, this is not loading to the page I'd like to, so we'll just skip over that one. I want to look at this picture over here. Um, I want to talk about why it's not the best for a soft green, though it's a lovely color, and I'm sure this dress would look beautiful on someone a little bit more angular and sharp, maybe like Zoe Zaldana. Um, this does not have any of the emphasis and definition needed to really bring out the beauty of the soft green's collection of lines and curves. There's not a strong enough definition at the shoulders you get the effect of having very slumpy or slouchy shoulders and then the neckline just makes the whole top half of the dress look a bit too oversized when you're a soft mean a little bit more petite you need something that will lift up the the torso from the waist to the the throat the neckline to make you look more contrasted from your bottom half because you don't have a super dramatic difference between your shoulders your waist and your hips you don't want to get lost in that but your figure does look more beautiful when it leans towards suggesting that kind of curvature and that kind of contrast if that makes sense please feel free to type away if you need me to elaborate on anything i say um so yes the top half just looks very oversized because it needs to be more proportional to her small figure and frame um there is waist emphasis but like i said it's not defined enough the belt needs to be much bigger on this particular dress to offset the largeness of the lapels or the collar if that's what it is um and the skirt is a bit too loose you can wear a looser skirt like this if you're a soft queen but you have to really make sure you have the right amount of waist emphasis and you need to make sure the top half is just on point or else you get really lost in it and again her hair is a bit too straight and flat it doesn't have that lightness that really brings out her very unique face here we have another look that could work if just a few things were changed um she does have an, the nice turtleneck that goes really well with soft jeans but unfortunately there's no waist emphasis um, it's very untailored outfit, even though it's more form-fitting. The skirt just needs to be tailored to her. Um, 
And then this this double sleeve thing is just making her look very disproportionate, just not very intentional. It looks a little too slashy. This would work really well on a natural, but soft queens have to really watch out for the very fine line between looking relaxed and casual and just really pushing that line um, and looking from view. Um, here, I just want to talk about her hair real quick um, before we jump into all of her wonderful, amazing looks because she has so many beautiful, amazing looks. Um, as you can see here, she has a very cute, rounded face. It's very youthful. It's very bubbly and buoyant. You know, it's very ripe. It's like a ripe fruit. And you want hair that emphasizes that and works with those curvatures and those lines. And that that means you want youthful, flowing hair that has movement and it suggests a sort of buoyancy and lightness. And here you have something that looks a bit too sleek for such a buoyant and bubbly face. So that being said, let's go into some of her amazing looks. She has so many. When she dresses for her body type, she just looks absolutely stunning and it's hard to forget her. So let's uh, take a look at this amazing look here. She just looks so fresh here, so youthful, just so much saturation to her. Like I think that's the beauty of Ganines. They have a lot of intensity and saturation to them. Like there's just something very bright about them. They're very present in here. So she has the cute hair that's like wispy bangs and a nice rich color. There's a lot of movement suggested by her hair, even though it's mostly pulled back. You can just tell and imagine that it's a nice swishy ponytail that moves a lot when she walks. Um, her neckline is emphasized. She has that cute little dolly thing going on here. Very cute little small rounded details going down the front. Um, high contrast outfit, even though the scheme is Pretty, pretty dark. Um, you have the cute small details all over the coat. These collars are the right size for her. They do not overwhelm her figure at all. Um, and going down the outfit, nice hemline. It's a defined clean cut of the skirt. And uh, you get ankle definition with these cute little boots, you know, they're a little more tomboyish, but it works with the outfit because you have all of the main shapes you need to define being defined. All right, here is another cute look. As you can see, her hair is much more flowing, it moves. When I say flowing, I don't mean flowing like, like a long, mermaid-like hair that would look really beautiful on, say, Sophia Vergara. I mean, flowing as in movement. There's like an air to it. It's a little bit wind windswept. Um, and here, it looks so fresh on her. It really just helps elongate and continue the, the lines of her face. It all suggests that certain buoyancy and freshness and youthfulness Gorgeous color on her, high contrast, really wonderful little rounded details on her shirt and on the jacket, really nice um, collars on both the jacket and the shirt, soft means you can pull off really, really playing up this part of your body. You can do like some crazy collars and they just look super cute on you. Um, you can't see the rest of the outfit, but She's probably wearing a nice tailored skirt underneath with some cute tights or something like that, or a cute high-waisted pair of pants. Um, but the, the beauty of this outfit is in the layering of small details. You can keep putting those details on as long as they stay cute and dainty and small, and 
some color blocking suggested and soft humans look really, really cute in that. Here, I want to talk about her, her neckline because you might think that, oh, this isn't a good one on the soft humane. But soft humans can also pull off low necklines as long as they keep a balance and maintain definition of their shoulders. You know, it's a very important part to emphasize. If you're not going to do a nice, interesting collar, you want to make sure that your shoulders are defined. And it can be a little harder when you're more petite to find shoulders, shoulder styles that don't overwhelm your frame, but still give it that nice little extra edge to it but here she has the perfect shirt for her um she has a nice wispy bangs and the bright high contrast makeup i say high contrast not like you can see definite contrast with your foundation and your bronzer and your lipstick but it's just bright you know like if you put this kind of makeup in a filter on like instagram and you upped the contrast, it would hold up, it wouldn't look too different because there's already such a, a difference between her skin and then her eyeliner and brows. It's very defined and it's really cute and fresh on her. Here, what a cute look again, soft gamines and their collars. It's just magic. It really is gorgeous shoulder structure too nice waist definition great color blocking super cute useful moving vibrant hair super clean soft and mean like super duper clean love that one here um are some some shapes that work even though they're huge so she has these huge sleeves going on, but it works because she already has um, a proportionally also oversized collar. So you get that sense of like playfulness and kind of whimsicalness. Um, if it wasn't also oversized, then it might look a little off, like the shoulders or the, the sleeves are too flowy. But since you have them both large, it looks more playful. I have a nice waist definition. I'm sure this skirt is cut right above her knees or right below. Nice clean bottom lines, cute little details going down the front and sides of the skirts. Lots of waist emphasis, especially with that um, high contrast ruching at the waist. Um, hair, not her best hair. I think she looks best with like shoulder length hair that has more of the wispy bang going to the front um, and a more rich, vibrant hue. But this is also a look that shows the magic of soft and colors. OK, I think this is the same outfit. And I just wanted to take another look at the hair. Um, I should have put this in the beginning of the video, what doesn't look as good on the soft community, but here we are. It just has a little too much distract, distraction to the hair. Um, it's not vibrant or rich enough of a hue. She looks better in a darker, more rich, uni-colored shade. Um, Soft means don't look as good with like highlights and multiple colors. They want to maintain that high intensity to their look that's very ripe sense of saturation um and yeah if if you want to do multiple hair colors as a soft green try to have them start at the bottom half of your hair so that this part can look nice and high and um, very loose and fluffy. And then the, the lightning at the ends helps emphasize that waviness or that sense of movement. But to start it from the top kind of makes the look more geometric and flat. 
to avoid. So here is Jenna looking, I'd say a lot more slim. Um, even so, she still is a soft green, unlike um, a li sorry, Lily, Lily Cole, who is a flamboyant green. Even if they're at the same weight, at the same level of body fat, they look very different. Lily Cole, if you remember, has a little bit more strength and structure to her for flesh. And Jenna just looks very delicate, like when she loses weight. She still doesn't look as sharp and she just doesn't look as as strong. Unlike Lily, who even though with low, very low body fat, she doesn't look like you would snap her. I'm sure if Jenna kept losing weight, she'd look a bit more fragile. So I just wanted to point that out if you're having a little trouble figuring out what you are, especially if you fluctuate weight. Soft means just look more more soft. <laughs> um, I know it sounds very obvious, but anyways, um, this look is interesting. You have all of these gorgeous small details on the skirt that give it the sense of being color blocked or more texture blocked that has the same effect of a color block. It has that that brightness that like pulls your attention and it really, really suggests contrast, nice waist definition, cute little collar, though I would go for a round collar. I think soft means look better in rounded collars that are a little bit bigger, really nice wrist tailoring, very cute look. Um, yeah, this is um, one of the more subtle, subtle looks. Here, as you can see what I was talking about a few minutes ago with the hair, um, the lightness comes at the bottom of her strands and it just makes it look a lot more youthful and buoyant and fresh. Please let me know if you want me to explain that more, but I think you can tell that having darker roots and then leaving the lightness only on the bottom half really gives hair a lot more movement because it tells the eye to really distinguish and then when it distinguishes you get almost a sense of like lengthening for one one point you get this lengthening and then it really brings out any like wave or texture and then it does give the sense of movement because there is a contrast, there is a change going in the in the length of the hair when it goes from dark to light. That in itself suggests movement. You're moving from dark to light. Anyways, um, really cute little collar, though I think it'd be cuter if it's a little bigger. Great waist emphasis, color blocking is on point. And this is the last look. Um, actually, that was the last look. Um, I made a Pinterest board. If you just look up my email, thealignedlover.gmail.com, you can see my boards that I'm working on here and there. Um, if you have any questions or just want to leave a little comment about Soft Queens or Jenna Coleman, Go for it. I love hearing about it. I love talking about this. And as always, I'm always learning about this. So I'm no I'm not an expert by any means, but I really love to spend time studying this. So I hope this was helpful. I will do naturals and I will finish off the games next. And um, yeah, thanks for all the nice comments. I will talk to y'all later. Bye.